I think what makes it uh, difficult too is that you've got two people who grew up with different family traditions, different ways of celebrating Christmas, different ideas around how you give gifts, different ideas around what do you do for dinner, and suddenly you're you're joining them together. And I know for for myself is always like, well, who wins? You know, do right. you do you open your presents the night before Christmas or Christmas? Like, uh, you know, are you supposed to have a brunch on Boxing Day or not? <laughs> right? Well, who, who wins? How do you make those right. uh, choices work? Well, you know what? It, that's it's a great question, Liz. And one of the things I tell my couples all the time is you've got to decide do you want your relationship or do you want to be right and mm, if you're constantly like fighting that. to be right you're probably going to lose out on your relationship so this is a great time just like any time of year to choose your relationship and put that first but what, see and don't you find it interesting though that this is supposed to be the spirit of giving and yet people don't don't give they don't give an inch sometimes they like you say they'll hunker down and say no this is the way i feel and i'm not going to move from it at all uh, and especially at this time of year, I find it to be a, a real contradiction that mm -hmm. this is the time where you should be forgive, you should forgive people. You shouldn't, you should break away from grudges. If you had an axe to grind with someone, maybe now's the time of year that you can bury the hatchet. All those types of things should be going on, uh, and we're getting mixed messages, and yet internally we're, we're conflicted with the person that we live with and what our future looks like with that person. That's right. I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's a great time of year. I think it's any time is a great time of year to really choose what's most important. And most people that I ask, you know, what's most important to you in life? What's most valuable? Nine times out of ten, they'll say their relationship, whether it's a relationship with their spouse, relationship with their children, but it's always relational, right? And so often we make choices that don't match up with those values. You know what's confusing to me is I always look around at this time of year and everybody seems a little bit happier, a little bit of a spring in their step, you know, um, everybody gets excited when it snows, they're out shopping, they get some time off work. So how could it be so doom and gloom where it's this, it is kind of a generally happy time of year? Well, it's interesting because my practice, I find, is busiest this time of year. I don't take a lot of time off between Christmas and New Year's um, because for a lot of people, it's, it's a time of real trigger, whether you've experienced a loss, whether there's family conflict, whether you're under financial stress. It's a time that where all of these issues seem to surface, they become triggered. Um, it's just that much more obvious because there is so much cheer and lights and glitter all around us. If your family situation doesn't match what you're seeing on the outside, it often does bring up all of those issues for you.